But where did the Nigerian uh, police come in? I'll tell you. He was advised to write a petition to the police. Hmm? Which he did now. Then he wrote the petition to the police telling yeah. them exactly what he's been going through yeah. and why they are after his life. Eh? So the police, you know what the police did? What? Somebody who told them that he's scared for his life and he know what these guys can do. The day that the police said they are invite they said they are inviting these guys, Naira Mali and the rest of them, they are inviting them over based on his petition. The police also invited him to come and face them and say it to their face he in can't. Nigeria. He wouldn't uh, go now. That act of so professionalism, he stayed away. He didn't show up at the police station. Okay. Now, when this Naira Mali and Co, when they met with the police, which they are actually friends, there are pictures, there are videos that are later shown that uh, indeed that guy had. I mean, he stood no chance. He had no chance against these guys. Hey. No way. no way it doesn't really matter except eh, if he brought it not that he didn't scream or he didn't call for help he but it was more or less like they were bigger than him they were just they were just more yeah put it that way eh? they were just more so now why you say making kukuma virus for them the people he petitioned oh, eh? naira mali sam larry and the, and the rest of them that showed up mm -hmm. after discussing for a few minutes you know what happened next? What? The Nigeria police, eh? Uh -huh. They now wrote an invite, inviting him to show up. Or he will be arrested by the police. Guess who they, uh? they, they issued an arrest warrant on? Who? Mobad. Jesus. The person that wrote that his life was in danger was the one that the Nigeria police eh, they should arrest. issued an arrest warrant on. That if he failed to show up, so so so, he's going to be arrested for defamation. Hey! Blah, 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 blah. So they threatened him. Hey! And he just bolted. Jesus. If you continue to see anything about Naira Mali, if you continue to see anything about Kiniko Kiniko, no investigation, no nothing. Jesus. All the beatings, everything. He said, oh, you owe me money. But he said, uh, you are beating. He said, the mad galonjo, don't answer him, Joe. He's a useless boy. We pick him from the gutters. We pick him in and in his father. He just wants to destroy my name. Eh? Then how do we get justice? And that means he cannot work. In order to, hey. to be ahead of him. Do you know what they did? They asked the police to arrest him. Because he's a drug dealer. I mean, he's a drug user. Most of the time he's on drug. They told the police that. And without any investigation, without no nothing, right? The police said he's a danger. So if you continue to say anything about Larry and all of them, he will be arrested. Jesus. See, Naira Mali calling person drug Baba. Eh? N-D-L-E-A. Busted them. Mind you, from what we have later found out, oh, it wasn't just him, right? When the NDLEA came, eh, it was the main target. But there were other members of their, eh, of their label, record label, who were also present when the NDLEA came. Now, when the NDLEA came, and they were like uh, picking them, somehow maybe they mistook uh, Zeno, there's one of them called Zeno. Zino mistook for this mobad whatever sha he found himself this same mobad found himself fighting the police for the way they are rough handling his colleague hmm. and he didn't know that uh, he's probably set up he didn't know until they got to the ndlea office when they got to the ndlea office ndlea said they suspect them to be using drug, all of them, Jesus. and selling drug. So they are going to do drug tests for them, so that they will know if they are using drug or not. And you know what happened? Eh? Mm, he said they handed him a liquid substance in a water bottle, or in a bottled uh, water, empty bottled water. <laughs> eh? a liquid substance and they gave it to him to drink it 
they want to know if he's using drug or not. And he was the only person among everybody that they NDLEA rated. Mm. And he's the only person who is trying to lift their record label. He is the only person that they have been trying to bully back into their midst. And he kept on going and going. He's the only person they handed that uh, that water. Hey. And they told him to drink it. After he drank the water, they said all of them could go. There is a video eh, where he said he's not been himself after that. Despite those pains, living through those pains up, off and on, hey. the system in Nigeria, like it's failing a lot of us and it has failed a lot of people hey. who are no more today. Eh? And they are still going to fail a lot of people, a lot of you. That will kind of make you realize that no, I mean this is not right. You can't rule, you can you can't run a country like this. Jesus. Eh? The system failed him, and the system became accomplice in killing him. That is where all of you should focus on now, right now. NDLEA gave him something. At least he said that on video, on camera, before he gave up. I'll show that. Sorry if you don't understand Yoruba. I'll tell you. So they said he's high. Oh, he's high on drug. It's because he's high on drug. You know, he's always using drug. I will never see he's him. He's always drug. forgetting. He's, uh, he and you know that see. young man. I'm not saying that uh, he's using drug. He's not using drug. You know? He happened to be a young man who happened to be a furniture maker. There is a video of his where he said, you cannot be using money. I, I mean, he could not be using the money he make, he's making from furniture, furniture. to make music, music and, it will not, and not put effort in, in making sure the music is very, very mm. sweet. That's the way he put it. Mm. He said, I have to also make some furniture and work very hard. And the money I made from there is what I spend on my on making my music and I have to put energy into it. I have to put all my best into it.